It's <laughs> started. All right. Um, how are you doing, Marchin? Fine. Yeah? It's for the day of Connect. You're not tired? A bit, you know, it's sleeping not so far, not so long here. It's You're not hacking right now. You're just no. walking around at talking. No, to it's, yeah, exactly. That's what Connect is for, for right? That's true. That's mm. true. Although we are supposed to do some work. Yeah, An hour yeah. a day. You know, you catched me on the way to hacking room. Ah, so I'm just getting in your way. Well, I won't take too much of your time. Yeah. <laughs> so what's your, been your favorite session so far? You know, porting Arm V8 was fun yesterday. Was that from Deepak? Or no, from, no, it oh, was Riku. Riku. Riku session. It yeah. was good. And today this toolchain CI and releases because it is what I missed on the last connect. Yeah, yeah. Well, so you, because you actually went away and then came back, right? I, I was supposed to go away. <laughs> you know, everything was, everything was arranged. You, I was going to Canonical on, on, starting the, on December. Then there was the connect with no work done nearly <laughs> with this. and then there was this funny message you are staying at Linaro for so for longer right okay fine <laughs> well i remember your your really awesome work with the open embedded stuff it's still uh, it and is you're still, still working work. on that yeah you so, know it's good to be back after 2 years of not using open embedded right so what do you think i mean you've you've uh, now that you've kind of gotten back into the open embedded world. Has it made a lot of progress in your opinion? Insane amount of progress. You know, there were things like, uh, now, we, now open embedded has layers. Basically, oh, okay. layers were created in 2010 when I stopped using open embedded. And we were discussing about doing it since 2006. Oh, okay. So it takes some time, but now it's perfect. Okay. But you know, layers is one thing because it gives order. It gives possibility to change any recipes uh, in any way you want, but also the way of development got changed. Now it's more kernel like pull requests, maintainers, just small amount of people with right access. So in open embedded builds, do you have like a manifest then? Uh, it can, manifest is generated during build. So okay. when you generate any part, any source, let's say source package, it uh, stores licenses from it. So at the end of build, uh, at the end of builds, you have directory with every source package, every license from each package every file which is listed as a license, basically. Okay. And it's good. So, Marcin, you're a, you're a, you're a great guy because you always speak your mind. And you always tell people yeah. what you think without, uh, without going through, you know, well, you just tell people how it is. So, why are you using CyanogenMod Android over Lenaro Android? Do we have Linaro Android for my toys? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but that's a good question. You know, there is one simple reason. Uh, Linaro builds are pure uh, Android builds, right? Yeah, uh, it's we've just got... a, a Android Open SP, right? Right, with but we've got Linaro's toolchain, right? Linaro's and tool chain, and, so you get a tool and chain maybe a few up. changes, right? Yeah. While when you look at Cyanogen mode, it's huge amount of add-ons, changes, tweaks, which every time I try something different during those two years of, with Android, always something was missing. <laughs> you know, you, you, you open notifications, you have switches there. Configurable. You have... Uh, many things integrated in settings. You want to overclock your CPU, it's there. You want uh, to select who has root access, it's there. 
Recently, the even super user is in settings. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, That's it's, awesome. you just have to uh, fetch the newest uh, builds. Okay. They even added new permission. Gotcha. To permission system. So now it's a question to, it's a kind of request to every developer who is writing root like app, apps, or rather apps requiring root. Yeah. to add super user permission into list. Awesome. So on normal devices, you will not notice this, but once you have super user installed, you install application, you have in permissions you have listed. This application will require super user permissions. Awesome. And Cyanogen Mode's uh, super user is informing you that this application doesn't, require, doesn't have this permission set and there is an option in preferences to automatically refuse such ones. Awesome. Yeah. So, I appreciate the overview because I, I completely agree with you. And I, I wish that we had the, the resources to do what CyanGen Mod has done with Android and get so maybe, do it in a tip, tip fashion. So maybe switch to CyanogenMod so instead of Android. So maybe switch to CyanogenMod. But probably not every member will be glad yeah. about it. But, that aside, so it connects all about meeting people and making yeah. connections. Like and, the name uh, says, right? Like the name says. Or, I don't know, did you spot my joke from first day when everyone was complaining about Wi-Fi, right? Linear Connect is, as name says, about connecting people. <laughs> How to force geeks to connect with each other. Right. Disconnect them from network. <laughs> That's true, that's yeah. true. It's, it does seem kind of awful these days when you give a presentation or you're having a th session and everybody's like this. Yeah. You know they're listening, but you, you'd rather them be like looking at least, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, oh. one more question I just uh, have, which is what are you looking forward to between now and the next Connect? What are, what are you going to be working on? I'm V8, as you know. So it, there is still a lot of things to do now with distros getting support. Like op it was amazing when I saw a mail from OpenSUSE guys. Yeah. And they have 4,000 packages built. Wow. It's amazing. That's amazing. awesome. Uh, I think to say it's, um, it's great for me, uh, awesome is uh, it's one of those US words which have no meaning at all. It's so overused that it is a word. If you, if you don't know what to say, you just say awesome. And it, it means nothing. Or rather, no, it has no meaning. Well, Marcin, that is great then. Thank you so much for talking to me. And no problem. We'll see you and next Connect. Yeah, you will be at Connect? You never know. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> See ya.